This is fucking disheartening, like... Go with Jonathan. What in the fuck? Our friends of the rescue. This is insanity. Holy shit. Leave Sam. Sam wants to be out there, goddammit. Got saved twice already, goddammit. I assume Brand is doing something fucking worthwhile. You're a good man. Thank you. I know he didn't see him get hit with the dragon fire. Probably a good thing because he realized just how even more hopeless this is than he already knows. Wow. Music's fucking splendid, by the way.
What the shit? What? Fucking are you? He wasn't ready to buy you, was he? Alright, so that was episode 3 of Game of Thrones, season 8. Where to begin? That was a fantastic episode. One of the best of the series. It had its problems. But for what it needed to do, it was amazing. It was fucking splendid. Um, just the music, the action cinematography, um, the surprises, the sense of dread throughout, the finish. It, it delivered on its promise, even though no actual promises made, but we're expecting, of some serious deaths. Not quite as, as ballsy as I thought they were going to go, but quite a few. Um, before the episode, I had Jorah, Brienne, Close to that. Uh, Grey Worm, Theon, and Sam dying. I got two out of five with Theon and um, Jora. And then Melisandre died, and uh, Leanna Mormont died, and um, I forget the fucking Night's Watch guy's name. Always Ed. Fuck it. Um, but yeah, I th I thought they might go a little little a little further than that, but I'm not complaining. Also, fucking Night King. Listen, they when you're gonna do a villain, and he's gonna be a big bad, at least really strong for one big episode. You can't do it no better than they did it. I thought they might hold off on it. Some of you guys said maybe he went to King's Landing or some shit, which would have been a hell of a surprise. Um, he has a dragon. He, he can go wherever he pleases at this point. Um. But if you're going to do a big episode with a villain, they, they did it big. He fucking, he had a fucking dragon fight. He fucking was mocking John. It wasn't really mocking, but he looked like he was smirking several times when he raised the dead. He took dr fucking dragon fire to the face. <sighs> Killed Theon. Walked up on Bran. He was not fucking around. Like, I, I think I'm going to miss him, to be honest. But then he got caught. Hey, he caught Arya. He caught her. He caught her. Don't sneak up on me. That shit work with the rest of these motherfuckers. You can't sneak up on... I... Wow. Did not see that coming. Out of all the people I thought we killed the Night King, she would have been, I don't know, 6th or 7th. John, Danny, Jamie, uh, Tyrion, somehow, some way. Yeah. She was the MVP of the episode. She might die at the end of the season. That's a lot of shine to give somebody who's not John or Danny. I like it. She deserves it because she's been amazing. I'm just saying. She got that fantastic sequence in the, uh, she's running around Runafo, really quiet. There's that sequence. There's, she was fighting before that, and then she killed the Night King. There's the scene with fucking Melisandre, that scene. That's a lot of shine. She's going to die, and it's going to be fucking heartbreaking. 
as, as for the rest of the episodes, as far as these fucking rough deaths go, none of them really bothered me. I mean, none of these were my favorite characters. As long as John was okay, I was going to be okay. Uh, I got nervous with Jamie a couple times. Uh, I love that episode. I might watch that. I'm gonna watch that episode again. I'm gonna watch that episode again. I'm, I was mostly nervous. I couldn't appreciate all the little things that were going on. Center time was fucking splendid. Um, especially once I changed the fucking angle so I could see what the fuck was going on. Um, that was a fantastic episode. I gotta see it again to appreciate it. The Hound has got some. Uh... Oh, and Beric died. Did I mention Beric before? Beric died. The Hound has got some uh, making up to do. I like the fact that he protected Arya, but. You're looking rough, bro. You definitely gotta kill your brother at this point. You need a, a, a win. The one thing that did bother me, now that I think about it, the one thing that did bother me this episode. I know you guys think I pick on Sam, but I'm not. I'm not going to. He just happens to be the perfect example because it happened with him at least twice. The only thing I had a problem with this episode was the, oh, this major character is in danger of dying. So here comes this slightly less major character to take his or her place. We saw it with Sam twice. Um... We saw it with Danny and Jara. And we saw it with Arya. I got it. They're important. They're not going to die. But four times one episode is a bit much for me. All that said, it was, a, it, was a, it was a small complaint. That finished. I did not think Arya was going to fucking kill the Night King. That is shocking to me. So now what? What's the next move? Well, obviously, uh, Danny is down... A when the Night King brings I know I was, I was moving on, but I'm not gonna move on. When the Night King brings back everybody that they just fucking killed, or that he killed, his crew killed, it is a disheartening moment. I didn't even after the initial shock of oh, it's like what was this all for? Which is the point. What is, was this was all for? Absolutely nothing. This is an unwinnable fight. Whew. I'm shocked not to have with Tyrion and Bran. I thought that would have been a thing. Apparently not. Tyrion continues his streak of not being very useful, we'll say. But I thought Sansa's explanation of it, the best we could do is just look through. That's fantastic. Uh, so Arya's MVP, Melisandre's probably number two, uh, John, put, John and Danny, we'll give them fucking a joint thing, tied for third, they were really good, uh, Jorah, he'll be fifth, um, that's enough, that's just, there's five, alright, so where do we go from here, so the Night King is dead, the army of the dead is dead, we got three episodes to go, Danny is down a significant portion of her army. It feels like at least half. At least half died. Probably more than that. Uh, she still has both dragons, though they're not in the greatest of shape. Um, the army of hers that is alive is not in the greatest of shape. She's down a friend zone uh, member. Um, hmm. I'd say Cersei is in... Um, not sh listen, Danny sells two dragons, so I'm not sure if Cersei's in the driver's seat. But she went from no shot to a pretty good shot. And then she still has beef with John. That's awkward. Yeah. Actually, the animal stuff was rough. I know I keep going back because I forget things, but that definitely was was gruesome. They really toned down on the uh, on the what's the word I'm looking for? I want to say pointless deaths, but the deaths without any heat. You know what I mean? Like this was season four. Leanna would just got crushed, and I'd have been the end of it. 
<laughs> she would have gotten splattered, and that would have been the finish. Um, but here in season eight, she gets to kill the giant before she dies. I still can't get over um, the Viper's death, Oberon. Just... I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. That was a fantastic episode. It's death. It's dreamy. I'm all over the place. I am all over the fucking place. I love that episode. I want to watch it again. I really wish they killed Sam. I know that sounds fucked up. I like-ish Sam. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like him living is a bit much for me. He's there just to almost die. Like, that's his purpose in battles, apparently. And I can buy once, but, like, twice? Enough. Put him in a crypt. How all the major characters there survive? I don't know. What'd you think of this episode? I got it ranked, I don't know where. Um, the finale of season four is probably the best episode of the series. Or my favorite, rather. And then there's the Red Wedding, uh, Battle of the Bastards. Uh, I don't know the name of 610, but 610. And this one, this is, oh, right, 7-4. This is, no, this one's better than that. This is in my top five somewhere. Somewhere in my top five. Anyway, what did you think? I really, 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 really liked it. I gave it a nine and a half out of ten, or whatever the equivalent of that is in a letter grade. A. Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.